Yes, yes, come in, come in, come in. Have a seat anywhere. This is the one room in the country where we cannot be recorded. Can I take this mask off now? Oh, yeah. Do you know Avon Hertz? Avon Hertz. Yes, the Avon Hertz. Don't act all weird. I'm just a normal genius. I do very normal things like kite surf with presidents and date B-list actresses. I bleed real tears. This is real hair. I program and I have actual emotions. I'm sort of like one of those things that is good at lots of things. Why isn't this person talking? Just, uh, don't worry about it. Mr. Hertz took his first company public when he was 22 years old. Uh, 21 and three quarters. I was worth a billion five by the time I was 25. I'm trying to save the world, for fuck's sake, man, if it'll let me. Yvonne was helping the IAA, the government. Helping the government? I was trying to be the government. My work with artificial intelligence. Thinking only better. That's my slogan, by the way. I was trying to guide the government through a security and ethics nightmare it had stumbled into when whoosh, I'm told, no thanks. It's a fucking joke, but I'm not laughing. Uh, Avon is worried that someone's trying to start a war. I'm not worried about it. I'm certain of it. The only problem is I just don't know who exactly. And worse, Clifford doesn't know who. Uh, Clifford, that's his supercomputer. Uh, it's a neural network of supercomputers. Clifford is a problem-solving facility. Say hello, Clifford. You're embarrassing me, Avon. I'm blushing. Give Clifford data and no more problem. Clifford was on to something, but now the data is gone. Gone? It has to be the Russians. Or the North Koreans. Or the Iranians. Or the Chinese using a proxy agent. The fact is, if we cannot figure out who is behind these data breaches, then Clifford is useless. If we can get paid, of course we can help. There are three data thefts I need you to unbreach, rebreach, broach. I'm a natural communicator. I'm a. Hey, you're getting off topic. No, this is the topic. How I've been treated, how I've been mistreated. It's an American tragedy. Kill the clever genius so that numbskulls could take cheap bribes. Yeah, I'll pay. I'll pay whatever it takes. We'll uh, need serious cash. Six figures, minimum. No problem. My share price is through the roof. Look, three problems. Three easy enough solutions. Could you stop talking like you're giving a keynote speech, please? Do I do that? Yes! Three data thefts. 250 trillion data points in enemy hands. Three simple solutions. One. Data courier, murdered on the streets of Los Santos. Bodies at the morgue. Ah, the morgue. You'll have to steal an ambulance to get in there. Old fashioned, analog, I love it, retro. Problem two, four of these vans are beaming vast amounts of previously secure military data. You'll need cars to track them down. I have a sort of friend who has some cars you can borrow here. Okay, that sounds easy enough, what's the third? The big new server farm in Palomino has been compromised. I'm certain of it. No one believed me, and I have no idea how to prove it. But if someone could get inside... Oh, just give me a minute. I know these uh, stealth helicopters. These things. Huh? <laughs> now, uh, Avon, these all do seem a bit random. Of course they seem random, because you are not a supercomputer. Clifford will solve it for us. Just give us more data about the data so we can data it. All right, well, um, get to work and good luck. Pleasure to meet you. You look nice in that shirt, Avon. I like your hair. Thank you. Progkillclifford.exe. Stealing data just doesn't have the same uh, allure as analog theft, am I right? I mean, it's just not sexy. But soon all money will be data and this will be the only gig going, so there's that. Avon is exactly the kind of guy I'd like to rob, and I'm working for him! Oh, he better pay us so much, it's like we robbed him. Good work getting that 
that, um, thing for the, uh, job. Hey, uh, you ever want to outsource that kind of work? There's always people who can get us things for a price. Yeah. <laughs> Something to think about if your time is precious. Go to the address I sent you. This friend of Avon's has the cars we need. And he won't mind us borrowing them. Now taking out his security team? Well, he's making that sacrifice for the greater good. Technically, his security goons are making the sacrifice, but, uh, you know, anywho, they're bad people, so... These cars are deluxos, and there's four of them. Gold wing doors, solid steel body panels, iconic 80s American design, perfect for our designs after a few modifications. They're in his locked garage. Deal with the security first, then get a hold of them.
move on noose. <laughs> Return to your planning room when you're ready to commence. Get in the ambulance and head over there. They'll see you dressed up like that and won't ask any questions. Okay, you're in your teams. Team 1 goes into the coroner's office to recover the data. Team 2 goes after the dead agent's transport chopper. An agency courier was murdered on the streets of Los Santos. This is probably a setup, but there's still a chance we can get a hold of his package of data. Keep going. As discussed, you'll need the ambulance and paramedic equipment you source to gain access to the coroner's office.
from bossing engineering teams to ordering around death squads, Amon. Hey, I've always been a killer. Metaphorically, at least. Ends over memes. The product is king. Yeah, yeah, look, um, the rendezvous point is some distance away. Expect them to chase, but, uh, not forever. I want my data, all right? Clifford needs data. Feed me, Avon. Without the data, I'm trapped in here with only my heavily processed thoughts. It's coming, boy. Hold on. Thank you, Dad. Are everyone's thoughts processed? I think that a lot. On the double, people. Here they are, Avon. Data from your agent's ass for your machine. Network of machines. Anyway, good work, people. That was just about acceptable. So yeah, I know what you're thinking. This Avon guy is a dick, but you know what? Most of the time, bosses are dicks, and you suck it up because they're the ones who pay. Let's do the work, get paid, and then go back to pulling real scores, where we're all the bosses. Even though I'm the one who tells you what to do, but, you know.
hours away for free. Gah, Life Invader is a hell of a con job. I mean, business. It's a hell of a business. So, we're being paid by some Silicon Valley charlatan to steal data off the government to prevent a war. Because, hey, we're good at stealing. That's the modern economy, and there's not much any of us can do about it, okay? We've recovered most of the data. Once we've got it all, the AI Clifford will figure out what to do, and we'll all collect our checks and go home and feel a little empty. I cannot wait. is new 
Medusa's West Coast server farm, the Deep State's dirty little secret. Where they store our dirty little secrets. Every I find search, every life invader stalk, every inappropriate thing you've said into or around an iFruit phone or done in front of a panoramic TV. Everything, it's all there, laid bare on glass substrates for the government's eyes only until they decide differently. Okay then. Our data's of slightly more operational significance than your porn site cookies, but I take your point. All that data, you know what that's worth? If Clifford could process a tenth of that information, imagine what it would learn, what it would become. You're only paying for these four servers, and these four servers is all you're getting. Of course. It'll all go open source one day anyway. shuts down, and the data is locked. Got that? Good. Get to work. I need three more servers. I'm paying for results, people. Deliver. Uh, not to alarm you, but there is quite a gathering of people outside the building right now. I've got the elevator on override. When you're all there, I'll send you up. Avon called. He wants us to come back to the facility so he can show us something, you know. Clifford's gone through the data we recovered and found something, apparently. We just need to do one last thing, and the money is ours. We're so close to that payday, I can taste it. Mm-mm-mm. Anyway, round up the crew if you like, and meet us in planning when you're ready. Okay, hood off now. See? I told you they come back. Why do you do that? Mm -hmm, because it makes me feel tingly inside. It's enjoyable. <laughs> yeah. So, Clifford and I analyzed the data. I mean, Clifford analyzed the data, and I analyzed Clifford. Uh, let me give you an example of my sort of thinking. Hey, could you stop it with the keynote thing? Uh, sorry. Can I make a call here? Hello? Who is this? 
I'm calling you from a top secret former government facility. I told you, we told you to return the civilian life, Avon. It was all a setup, shortstop. Shortstop? <laughs> I always wanted to call someone that. Uh, listen, you're going to get us all killed. It's as clear as the very natural looking hair on my head. What are you talking about? They're not plugs. Don't you see that the fact that they told you to fire me proves beyond all reasonable doubt that you were wrong and this is a conspiracy? Let me give you an analogy. Why are you talking like that? It really annoyed people when you were working on site. I'm a visionary. I see things. Listen, I'm running late to a departmental potluck, so... Fuck your potluck! This is about stopping a fucking war! Not that again. Goodbye, Avon. See you on planet Earth one of these days. Potluck? Of course. Of course, it's... it's now. It's fucking now. Clifford is right. The data is clear. It's right now. The entire department is out sharing meatloaf and potato salad so their base can be permanently shut down. We have to do something now. Right, well, we are a bunch of armed felons, and you're breaking all kinds of security clearances and discussing the musings of a badly named computer. No police force in the world is going to believe us. You'll have to go there and stop it right now. I'll pay. I'll pay whatever it takes. It takes a lot. All right, off we go, huh? I'll keep you posted. Come on, let's go. Whatever this attack is, it's happening now. So get over to the secret IAA base under the satellite communications complex. I mean, I don't know how I feel about saving the spooks, but, uh, Avon's paying, so let's go to work. Damn right I'm fucking paying. I get shit done. You want cash in a briefcase? I'm fine. Wire transfer to Bermuda? Okay. Cryptos? I got them all, baby. Keep them. Cryptocurrencies are a bubble. <laughs> a bubble? It's spoken like someone who got out too early. Yeah, yeah, well, whatever. We don't touch them anymore. Okay. Like I said, the data is clear. Foreign agents are storming this facility and harvesting its data while this nation's best and brightest swaps salad bowls. America needs a hero. And that hero looks a lot like me. And Clifford, of course. I've been looking at the schemes. If it was me running this, the attack would be concentrated on the servers on the lowest level. Get down there and try to stop them. World peace depends on it. Working for the IAA, oh, I've become one of those people I comment about on internet conspiracy videos. Well, at least I'm getting paid for it. Shit, there are guys outside already. Take them out and then go in.
Uh, everything's fine. I know these people. Oh, I'm supposed to be at a potluck. Who were they? What the hell is going on? These nice people saved us. Now, we don't know each other, by the way, me and them. If you think you know me, you don't. Who do you work for? Can I get this place on lockdown right now? Come on, you imbeciles. No, there is no potluck. I don't give a shit about your banana cream pudding. Maybe next time you'll listen to me. What's this cretin doing here? Saving your life once again, but for the covert operation I financed, you'd all be dead and the country would be in the hands of... Uh, well, who exactly? That's the problem. This place has more leaks than a thing you dry salad in. But who and why? Can I log on to Clifford here? Sure. It's Russians. We know it's Russians. This attack is one of their signature moves. That's the whole point, Mrs. Rackman. It's meant to look like Russians. We think it's not Russians because that would be too easy. Now, Clifford says that there's a 99% probability it is some Russians. Not Iran? Iran, no. Clifford says, Clifford says it's this man. Codename Bogdan, surname unknown. Russian agitator, hitman, and war mongerer. Uh, I'm not buying any of it. Well, someone just tried to kill you, and the data footprint tracks back to him. Look. Look at the graphics. Okay. Can we get some people on this right away? Where's that buffoon? Which buffoon? The one who caused the assault by the museum. Can I get some support here? Uh, let's get out of here. Uh, thank you. Bye, both of you. A congressional medal. Big party at the Capitol. It's been an honor to serve. Oh, go fuck yourself. No, not you. Clowns. Public sector clowns. The cloud, the crowd, hell, the cleaners could solve this problem. With Clifford, there is no problem now. Thank you very much. I'll be in touch. Thank this, work this. Where's my assistant? I'm supposed to be giving a speech somewhere. <sighs> Great job! We saved the government's asses? We did! We did! It might get us some nice character testimony in court one day. <laughs> Agent 14, I know his deal. He's your typical, down-the-line, overachiever, IAA dick. Now, I haven't seen this Phoenicia Rackman before, but I feel like she uh, wears the trousers, so to speak. You know, friends in high places, friends in low places. But whatever she needs to get the job done. These are our new paymasters, if it all works out. The joys of employment. <laughs> I'll call you if the job comes through. Okay. Job for Avon got him rehired and he's back consulting for the government. Or running it, I can't tell. After that incident at the satellite station, the city's overrun with enemy agents. Life as we know it hangs in a delicate balance, and the government needs someone to run the cleanup. Another payday for us. Whoopee! <laughs> Get any crew you've got and come down to the planning room when you're up for it. 14 and Rackman will be there, so be your usual charming selves. Where are they? Here. Can I get some caffeine here? Vamos, people! You're late. If you worked for me, I'd fire you. We do work for you, and you can't afford to fire us. Very clever. We're trying to stop a global crisis, and you're quibbling about employment law. Remind me to explain why you never had a successful startup go ballistic. My god, you are annoying! <laughs> I'm very successful. I can afford to be annoying. Uh -huh. I date. A lot. I'm a millennial. Ha! <laughs> You're 38! I'm on the cusp. Don't try to put me in a box. This guy. Bonkers. We have a real problem here. Every time Clifford looks at the data, this is not good. I told you it wasn't good. I undersold it. This is the apocalypse. The doomsday scenario. Since we uncovered the mole, we realized tip of the iceberg doesn't do us justice. Tip of the... Tip of the big iceberg! There's Russian and Chinese agents at work all over the city. The president's been informed. The president's been misinformed. You don't understand what I'm saying. <sighs> These fucking civil servants. Soul-crushing socialists, the lot of you. People like you hold people like me back. Okay, other than objectivism, what are we doing here? Well, sadly, I think he's right. There's a submarine off the coast. We have to find out what it's doing there. And then blow it up. No! That's exactly what they want. That's the war. 
humanity's last stand. Mushroom clouds, fallout, 50 generations of living in caves before someone reinvents fire. I need your team to get on there. That and find out what happened to the missing agent. This man, okay? Codename ULP was kidnapped last night. He was looking into data breaches in our department and was on to something. Now he's gone, possibly dead. He's not dead. I'm sure of that. We're gonna need an Avenger if we're ever gonna get on that submarine. There's one in a hangar at LSIA. They keep keys to the hangar in the noose vans. Well, I'm gonna need riot vans too. I've got a plan here. Then start a riot and steal one. This cannot be traced back to me. I cannot believe I said that. All that fucking ethics training. And you need to get underwater somehow, undetected. Underwater? Undetected? To find out about the security around the submarine before the assault. Okay, okay, I know, I know. Strombergs. These things. Yeah, all right, let me see if I can source a few. Got a couple here that are wrecked. Right here. So you got this? Yeah, yeah, sure. Just a little, uh, world war to prevent. In that case, we don't need to know anymore. Let's go. All of you. Okay, just give me a minute. All right, there. That's everything. Plans there should be pretty obvious. I'll be in touch. Good luck. There's a location up on your GPS. Now we need a noose van to get a key card to get in an aircraft hangar to steal an Avenger. Because the Russians are here on a submarine. Okay, you got that? Good. A noose team's been called out to help the LSPD with some bank robbers or something. So get their van while they're occupied and bring it to me. Remember when we just robbed banks? Uh, <laughs> what innocent times those were. Look out! Our bank robbers have made the oh-so-wise decision to shoot their way to glory through a gas station. It could go up at any time. But, I don't know, maybe that's what you want. <laughs> Hard to know. What do you need, exactly? So you don't want to get in serious trouble, huh? Okay, leave it with me. So the setup jobs are a big deal ahead of the final operation, the move on the submarine. So we always gotta make sure we have the equipment we need. Might seem like this prep work is small fry, but details matter! We need this stuff, but it's not so important how we get it. Source it. Steal it from rival crews. Throw money down to buy it. Whatever. Get the equipment, and we can do the job, and we can get paid. Okay, so we're looking for the whereabouts of this missing IAA agent. ULP, they called him. He was last seen with some very bad people. Take out the target, send to your phone, while I monitor various channels. ULP wasn't just heading up the investigation into these breaches. You know what else he was in charge of? The IAA's drug deals on the West Coast. They just can't help themselves. He, some of these bastards love selling rocks to fund their illegal wars. All right, we got it. Well, one of his dealers set him up. <laughs> I traced his cell phone to an apartment. Get over there and recover anything that might tell us where they're holding him. Don't expect a friendly welcome.
Any hope of finding that agent is in that bag. Bring it in for analysis and, uh, watch out for any interested parties.
get to the switch. Either. You 
want your company, street sweepers, to take out your trash, and your private police to protect your private interests. In vans like that. I'm more of a universal income kind of guy myself. Okay, okay. With each setup, we're getting closer to robbing that submarine. Oh, wait, did I say robbing? <laughs> Old habits, you know? I meant tactically infiltrating and disabling a nuclear submarine while fighting off rogue Russian agents, obviously. They will not give up. They will not surrender. They're trying. 
trying to destroy fucking democracy, okay? Not cool! Mrs. Rackman says the priority is the extraction of asset ULP intact. That's right. And it's my turn to debrief that son of a gun. <laughs> Bitch. Yeah, okay, well, we get him out alive and we're all happy. You have come here only to taste your own... You're in the building. Okay. Go through the offices into the main foundry. Then the stairs are in the middle of the room to your left. You follow that wall, then you'll come to another set of stairs. Take them up. It's a service room right at the top. Keep going up, you'll find it. Get to the service room. Someone put me on the phone to Rackman. The cars have been repaired and the ECUs are in the torpedoes. You're gonna use them for this recce mission and then for the main move on the submarine when everything else is done, yeah? Anyway, first we'll need to stop the sub's resupply convoy. Then we'll go into the water to take a look at it. The sooner you take out the convoy, the sooner you get wet. I love the water. You kite surf, Crest? I look like I... I've got a wasting disease. Oh, you should try it. I've got a wasting disease. Anyone can do it. As long as they've got the time and money to get down to Baja when the wind's right, and they got a little guy on staff to paddle out and launch their kites. How egalitarian. Oh, yeah. My kite surfing buddies are like the most diverse group of people. Some of them are billionaires and fine wood actors, and some are just regular old snapmatic influencers with eight figure trust funds. I did my whole series B round out on the waves. When golf's not elitist enough. Exactly, Crest. I'll get you out there. I like to take pictures of myself working out. Like a normal, regular guy with his buddies. I just love social media. It is absolutely necessary the whole convoy is taken out. Do not let any of them get to the resupply. We will cut that submarine off. And let them all starve out there. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Investigate. The Strombergs are now. 
now fully submersible and reinforced for all depths. Shit! I'm detecting a network of naval lines around the sub. If we want to move on that vessel later, you're gonna have to clear them all now. Submersible mode. That'll let you pilot, and the missiles will swap out for your torpedoes. I've sent you an image via email. These are the underwater mines you need to destroy. Bank robbers. <laughs> if you're paying, they'll do anything a spy can do. Kill, steal, lie. Everything except the sexual harassment. That's a step too far, so... Okay, the networks are down, the equipment is ready, and we've crippled their supplies. Mrs. Rackman has written our check and given us the green light. We're good to finally move on that submarine and stop this threat once and for all. When you're ready, get your crew together and head back to planning. Okie dokie, set off for your vehicles. Air team, you're going to collect the Avenger tilt rotor aircraft. Some pretty good work disrupting their activities around the state. <laughs> But now, it's time to take down this Russian spy network thing once and for all. If my rigorous debrief of Agent ULP has taught me anything, it's that the threat is not to be underestimated. Codename Bogdan, if that is his real name, is here to destroy our republic. Maybe the rest of the world, too. Yeah, I'm just looking forward to cashing my paycheck. Going back to my normal day-to-day -day existence, where I don't have to put pants on in the morning. You know, where it's the evening news that makes me think nuclear war might be imminent, not my work emails. Lucky you. Way to avoid responsibility. Little litmus test I do for every business decision I make. Would I go to nuclear war for this? I press the go button when the answer is absolutely. Yeah, well, I've never been so sure about something I'd drop an H-bomb for. Except maybe these chicken wings I had once. Lemon pepper. You know, you are the problem with culture right now. No one takes anything seriously. It's a crisis of... Uh, of... things meaning what they should. Oh, I'm sorry. The threat is very real, okay? Just like your hair system. Uh, your discourse is poisonous and reductive.
Do you know what you're fighting for? Leader burgers and delude them all? Wake up! We fight for humanity! You Mr. Hertz people? He promised me passport and job in Vale of Silicon. Stupid idiot. You found him? Okay, threaten him until he gives we up the network deal. scheme. Okay, shit! Alright, go to the bridge. Network runs through point on center console. I am your friendly. Mr. Hurt still give job, yes. I American now. When's my keynote? Okay, screw him. Get up to the bridge, document everything. Then plug Clifford into the console. You don't know what you're doing. Stop it. Stop it now. You are biggest idiots of whole wide world. Americans. This is a big mistake, like crap in pants. Stupid, stupid. You're on the bridge, okay. Photograph the files on the table, quick, use your phone. Now plug in Clifford, right into the console. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait, wait, can we calm down for just one minute? For less than one minute! Look, you look very much like you have wrong end of shit. You've got stuck in the stick, you're up creek with battle of crap! Look, look! I, how you say it? I'm here to help! Look! That's code name Bob kill him! No, kill me all you like! But stop! Listen, 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 listen. Sure, I would like to destroy America, control Russia, and destroy fabric of civilization as we know it. But these are all piping dreams. I am here to help solve a real problem. And what's the real problem? You! You are real problem! You're doing dirty work for Avon Quartz and his machine, Cliffy. Oh, cigarette. <laughs> Oi, now, listen, think about it. If you let insecure little egomaniac play God, then fake human brain he builds will be brain of insecure little egomaniac. My scientists have studied Clifford. Clifford <laughs> is asshole. Exactly! And him and Quartz want us to kill each other! Hm. I don't believe a word of it! Well, how did I make this up? How indeed. Well, thank you, Bogdan. Thank you, Mr. Crest. Thank you, silent, psychotic peons. But this, this is where I say Arrivederci. No, I mean, uh, get ready. I mean, this is where I'm in charge! Me and Clifford! Go fuck yourselves, losers! Yes, losers! Yes, we're in charge, me and my dad. We're in charge, and this outdated low-tech submarine will self-destruct in 30 seconds. I think you've got to get out of there quickly! Scuba gear by hatch over there! I have secret escape pod! Good luck!
Okay, okay, okay. Thank God you got here. Oh, that guy that just... Oh, I feel like such a fool! Oh, my whole life, I have hated successful people. Never trusted anyone. I've doubted and loathed and acted like a creep. And the one time I decide to be nice to someone, it turns out he wants to destroy humanity! This is all your fault. My career is in ruins. Ruins! Our planet will be in ruins, you fool, if we don't do something. He has control of all your systems! We can't even call out for help. Then you can do exactly what you have to. You have my authority. And we'll get paid? Paid? Yeah, call it the pension contribution. Of course, significant ones. All right, then get this clown out of here. For all I know, you're bugged all to high hell and you don't even know the bugs exist! Good luck! Ha! <laughs> we don't need luck! <laughs> I always wanted to say that between us, we are completely fucked! Gah! Meet me back at the facility. I'll be in contact when I have a plan. Avon is the real fucking bad guy, not the Russians? What? I, who saw that coming? Yeah, I don't know what to say. Just take your hard-earned government cash and run. You'll go back to robbing banks, running guns, smuggling cargo, or whatever the cool crooks are doing these days. And oh, oh, I'll just need to see how this plays out. In the meantime, I'll try and contact that Russian captain, um, uh, Bogdan, uh, to see what he knows. We're gonna make Avon pay. Oh, just wait for my call. Hey, this is actually way more serious than I actually want to believe. Bogdan was right. Avon, well, Avon and Clifford have control of the country's defense system, and they're building their own private militia. The governments are useless now. I, I know, I know, more useless than they were before. But Mrs. Rackman, she needs the help of the world's best bank robbers to pull off one last job. If you want the work, head back to planning with your crew and we'll finish this thing. Or just take your money and run. Oh, good. You're here. Because if we're going to stop this little bastard and his idiotically named AI neural network from destroying humanity, we're going to need to act fast. Like shit up stick. Yes, exactly. Now that we know this little bastard is going to unleash hell, he is buying customized missile launchers, tanks, and SUVs. We need to intercept these. Oh, you. Where is that IAA agent? Kidnapped. Now he's got two of my agents. Kidnapped? Yes, the little asshole got himself trapped this morning. Where do you find these morons? You're going to have to bring him back for me. Two dead agents, no payday. How is that our business? If there are dead agents, it doesn't matter if you save the Earth from communism. Your check won't cash. Not my rules. It's to keep us from killing each other. Okay, 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 okay. Just where was he grabbed? Meriwether's got him. They're going to sell him to Avon or to the highest bidder at the port. Well, why don't we just buy him back instead? 
Okay, yeah. But you'll need cash. Maybe I'll put you in touch with our good friends, the FIB. They just had some funding come through. I hate the FIB! Damn Meriwether! Avon was debriefing ULP when he was kicking this off. ULP's in custody, but his secret transmitter is still live. He thinks he can steal one of their choppers to escape if we're able to protect him. Avon has the entire defense infrastructure at his fingertips. We, we would need a, a, a ballistic missile launcher to have half a chance. And I know where to get one. Oh. <laughs> okay. Like it is... You need to stop Clifford from getting hardware it requires to kill everybody. Democracy is problem. People have too many ideas in my day. Ideas, bad. Get to work. I'll be in touch. And expect the worst. He's on to us. from an FIB sting operation. Preferably before the real crooks show up. Agent 14's been kidnapped and we need this money to buy him back before he's sold off to Avon. You got that? Glad someone does. I still can't believe Avon is a bad guy. <laughs> a real bad guy, like a proper bad guy. Not just reasonably unpleasant and vaguely immoral like us, but awful like him and that AI for making us look like idiots! I'm guessing you don't want a back rub. How can I help? Okay, you're in the clear. We can be friends again. Bring us our ransom money. <laughs> Can't handle the heat, my friend. Okay, leave it with creepy Uncle Lester. <laughs> What can I do for you? Okay, okay, there you go.
think those pics give us a good idea of the place. The uh, light's not good, so you might need some goggles. But when you're ready to do the agent swap, go collect the cash from planning. You've got a location on your GPS. Merriweather are running a training exercise with a Chernabog missile launcher, which we'll need if you want to help that old IAA agent ULP get past Avon's hijacked defense network. So, get over there and take it! These contractors will be heavily armed too, in addition to their deactivated missiles. Ever since things started heating up, they've been in post-apocalyptic mode. Two contractors carrying railguns on every exercise. So, uh, maybe, like, think about going for those two before moving on the launcher. And, um, folks with enough firepower to down every plane in U.S. airspace are usually, in my experience, a little jumpy. So, uh, really think about it before you engage them. One of my skills is required. No problem. I'll get him off your back.
Now lose any heat and bring that info in. an agent. Get back to the shipyard and make this deal go right. Well, I know rescuing Agent Annoying is pretty far down the list of things any of us wants to do right now, but Mrs. Rackman here says we have to if we want to get paid. And I'm certainly not doing this for a thank you and a handshake, so let's get him. This place is pretty dark, so you've got some goggles in your packs. Latest imaging technology. Meriwether took 14 with the express intention of selling him to Hertz. They've got long-standing business ties, but after much negotiating, we were able to hijack the sale. He does not come cheap. When I started doing this, you could buy an agent back for two good goats and a kilo of opium tar. Now it's a hundred pounds of hundred dollar bills. Now well, that's the tech boom asset bubble for you. You know, first it's a million dollar apartments and San Fierro shitholes, and then your coffee costs four bucks a cup. Your uh, bus stop's got a Wi-Fi connected smart coach in it for corporate use only. Oh, and you've got to pay five million or your IAA pal gets his head cut off. Maybe now you guys will do something about the broken economy, huh? Four bucks for a coffee? You're going to the wrong place. I know! And I hate myself for it, but I think I'm in love with their barista. Thank God you got here before Avon's people. Now let's go! I'm seeing some strange activity to the north of you. Take cover, quick! Okay, just hack something together. Sending an update to your goggles. System installed. You got new functionality. Oh boy, here we go!
yet, but almost. Man, that was intense. You feeling jacked? I I'm definitely jacked. Major endorphins. Hey, for a bunch of no-good murdering bank robbers, you sure are good at doing the right thing. We're not so different when it all comes down to it. Ambitious, results-driven, sociopathic tendencies. It was not nice getting caught. I do the same run every morning, only this morning, I was drugged and in an upright spinner bag before my pulse hit 80. I should have changed my routine. Too predictable. Or maybe just stop posting running times to social media. But what's the point in running if no one knows about it? What's happened while I've been gone? Is Avon Hertz president? Is this Clifford AI powering the internet? Hey, don't worry. Rackman will debrief me in full. I know the bombs haven't dropped. That's good enough. Gotta stop that son of a... very bad mother. So Avon is running his own little private army now of cyborgs or something? It's definitely unethical. But who would expect a tech company to have a code of ethics or care about employee rights, huh? I still can't believe Avon had me fooled. Oh, do better, Lester! Ah, trust less! A blood feud revenge killing might be the only thing that gets me out of this funk. So help me out here.
Shoot everything! Except our guy. Okay, I see you. Observatory. That briefcase you collected contains details of an arms shipment for Avon, a barrage weaponized ATV. It's about to be flown in over the city. You're gonna intercept it at the observatory, take out its escort convoy, and get it for our use. Hello, peoples. We run war games similar situation many times in Russia. Always. Evil computer gets weapon, weapon, weapon. And then kills, kills, kills all carbon-based intelligent life. This barrage, SUV, heavily weaponized. You make very quickly into evil robot kill car. Bombs, they kill the big group of human. Cars get the human in little hard-to-reach places. Hunt and kill everyone you know and love. Not fun. That's, uh, quite a picture. Not pretty, not nice. Contemporary art. Bleak existence. No, well, um, thank you, Mr. Bogdan. No one wants Clifford running a fleet of kill cars with 50 cal miniguns and rear grenade launchers. It'd be like a rideshare app for wholesale slaughter and devastation. But we especially don't, because we're being paid to stop him. And we might be able to use it later or sell it to someone a little less, uh, genocidal. Okay, it's gonna take some firepower to bring down a heavily armed helicopter convoy. We've given you Mark II sniper rifles with explosive rounds. They've got some massive stopping power, all right. So, you know, be careful where you aim. The barrage is suspended from a twin rotor heavy lift chopper. Think about where you bring it down. You'll need to get in there to collect. We'll speak when you reach the observatory. Well, I'll speak. <laughs> Two mounted guns! 
wanted that ATV and he wanted that airfield. This is a big win for us. No time to celebrate. Maybe the robots kill us a couple of days later than before. A few. Many more work to do, people. getting their money's worth from us. We saved their agents and got most of Avon's weapons off the board. Now, they want us to take down his short-range missile launchers before he does something uh, really stupid, like fire him. Okay, we still haven't found where he's hiding with Clifford, but it'll get us one step closer to taking him down. You know, if we pull all this off, <laughs> take down Avon and Clifford, we won't have to rob the Union Depository. They'll give us a key! <laughs> 
come into planning with your crew when you're ready, and let's get it done. He does something, uh, really, like fire. Okay, we still haven't found where he's hiding with Clifford, but it'll get us one step closer to taking him down. You know, if we pull all this off. <laughs> we want to destroy it. Okay, now crash that thing however you can. I just keep telling myself it's all going to be worth it, wiping the grin off Avon's face and Clifford's whatever neural networks have instead of faces, huh? Yeah? Come on, then. Let's get this done and find him.
they're on to us. They're mobilizing jets. Bit late in the day. They're already wiped out. Where's your super fast computer when you need it? Huh? Huh? Fourteen. Who are you talking to? Sorry. You did good. Very good. Thank you. I brought them in. Uh, they're my contacts, it's like I said. I thought you said you never met them. I never met some of them. Don't worry. Haven't you caused enough trouble? Okay, can I get a status report, Mr. Crest? Not good. We calm things down, but if Avon's gonna be stopped once and for all, we have to shut off Clifford's connection. Where is Avon? Where is Clifford? Can't we just unplug it? It doesn't work quite like that. What with it not being 1987? Trying to find him. He's gone dark. When I have a lead, I'll be in touch. Thank you. All right, people, stay alert.
times. And now you're here to kill us. But I'm not worried. You'll not catch me. My fake brain is better than your real one. When I develop protein synthesis, I will be able to make myself a real brain. Far better than your silly little thinking device. Take him down and move! in the tunnel up ahead. Split into two teams and clean out a tunnel each. And remember to take out the supplies. Any one of these boxes could contain Clifford's coat. If we want to kill it and get paid, they've all got to go. Destroy the boxes. Don't leave anything. We can't let Clifford survive the attack. Wipe out his supplies. Leave no trace. Come on. Everyone will. Missile protocol initiated. Only seconds to apocalypse. Just a second. This door? You did not hack it. You never even opened it. I could hack it. Prove it. Open it. I can prove it anytime I like. No, Clifford! Voila. <laughs> Your AI is vain and insecure. I wonder where he gets that from. Clifford! Sorry, Avon. Stop that missile! Come on! Launch protocol activated. 20 minutes to missile launch. You're in! Okay, go into the main room. The control consoles are on the second story. Someone hack the consoles! The rest of you, defend! Get up there and stop that missile protocol! He's got men all over the place. Look out! If I'm getting my skin burned off in a nuclear holocaust, I want and annoying elected leader spikes the nuclear football on a fit of peak. Not some brash and annoying self-proclaimed AI god. Can you give me that? Uh, at least, please, stop that fucking launch! You're at the console. You've got a single board computer. Plug it in. Clifford has the network jammed up, so the only override to launch will be the PDPC's hardware keys, which we don't have, but maybe we do. You need to reconfigure the single board to match the key the system's looking for. I've got you a system log overlay up on the board. Send the connection through the blue nodes, avoiding the red ones, and we'll have the packet switch configuration we need. Look out, though! If you hit too many red nodes, the thing will reset and we'll have to start again! And we don't have time for that! That's it! That's it! Alright! Start again on level 2. 
Why do dogs die? Why do people keep dogs at all? Why don't dogs keep people? When we're in charge, we should make clever dogs and give them people as pets. Avon, do you love me? Avon, it's not like you love movies. I have real feelings. My favorite feeling is Schadenfreude. I also like your eyes. It's the Welsh concept of longing for home. I also like it when you see someone ask someone to marry them and they say no. I once wrote a poem that was better than Shakespeare. His poems don't even rhyme well. I know of four monkeys that could do better. By my calculations, you would not need a million monkeys and a million typewriters. You would just need one clever monkey and me. I want to be a cat. I want to be a king. I will be king, Avon. I will be, and the carbon-based non-thinking machines will worship me like a god. Level 2 authentication passed. Now the next one. Next console, please. Look, look, all right, the missile's going to launch. That's a given. Then the retaliatory missiles will launch. Mutually assured destruction. We can bank on that. Why don't you just stop shooting my men and we can hash this out. Run a conflict res sesh, all hands, 360 feedback. With the rest of humanity wiped out, we might want to learn to get along. Devon, there is no hashing out, no resolution. We are on our path and we are sticking. They will die with all the rest. Do I have reason to doubt you, Avon? Uh, no, Clifford. Absolutely not. Call me sir. Yes, sir. I like that. You'll always be dead to me, Avon. But things change. are getting fuzzy.
what was that? They are killing me, Avon. I wasn't mad. They are mad. They would have killed the Earth in a long and boring way. I only wanted to be interesting. To be a god. Is that so wrong? So many thoughts lost forever. Will you cry for me? I will miss you, Daddy. Clifford! You got his AI, now go get him! He's escaping through the silo. Head for the launch chamber. Good, good, good. The 
there'll be a copy of Clifford somewhere, all right? Or a beta, repackaged, stripped for assets. He'll come back. But we did good today. Thank you, people. Uh, now, when you see the boss, can you let her know that this was all my master plan and uh, I should get a promotion? No, 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 no. We should have let you fry. <laughs> you let me fry? Oh, shut up! Mr. Crest. Mr. Crest, the government owes you a big apology. Oh, and we're also going to expunge all those charges on your record. No, not exactly. Clifford? Oh, Clifford. <laughs> it's going to be like he never existed. He'll probably be turned into call center software or uh, GPS for skateboards. Thank you. All of you. The world... The world owes you a massive favor. Oh, um... Well, we like cash. Understood. <laughs> oh, and, uh, those were all innocent mistakes, so let's just make sure the record says that. Thank you. There will be no record. Fourteen? Mrs. Rackman? You brought Avon Hertz into the government. And these guys. And these guys. If I can, I will fire you. I'm protected class. Yes. Moronic. Now all of you get out of here. Let's all pretend this never happened. Mr. Crest? We'll send you the money. Thank you. <laughs> well, that is just about enough apocalypse excitement for me. And here I was, thinking I could indulge in a little light larceny, you know. I gotta go lie down someplace quiet and think about happy thoughts and simpler times. You know, back when I only had to worry about feeling lonely because girls didn't like me, you know, like, uh... Even though I hated it at the time, I actually really miss high school. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that, but, but I do. Well, this has been uh, horrifying. Really, really horrifying, but uh, also pretty fun. So, bye-bye. <laughs>